Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we are looking at an Elder Sign expansion. This is Omens of Ice, put out by Fantasy Flight Games. The copyright says 2015 on it. There is a lot of stuff in here. It's part of the Arkham Horror Files line. Uh, Elder Sign is a great card game. I think it's a lot of fun. So there's a lot going on here. This is obviously going to have some really cool stuff in it because... Fancy Flight making a Cthulhu game, and they haven't done me wrong yet. Alright, so let's open this up and see what we've got here. The box has a nice feel to it. It's not cheap, like most of them. It's got a nice smooth finish, pretty sturdy. Alright, inside we've got a little ad for X-Wing. Yeah, I don't care about that game. Armada is supposed to be pretty fun, but I haven't played that one. I think my buddy Wyatt's got it, though. Alright, so we got a rules edition here. It's folded up. It is four pages long. And, of course, it's got a contents list, which is really nice. And it's got this cool white look to it to give it a, like, frozen icicle feel. So, looks pretty cool. Pretty straightforward. So there's pages two and three. It looks like it does have an extra, yep, five and six. So there are six pages actually. Uh, it looks like there is some new stuff on here, but it's mostly weather related and it will be very specific and explained within the rule book, I'm sure. So let's look at our tokens. Uh, there are two of them in here, so let's uh, open the, these up and see what we've got. It would have helped if I hadn't cut my nails the other day. Now the sheets are labeled A1 of 2 and the product number is SL17. So first up we've got a couple of new monsters here. Some weather things, there's a sun, plus 20, whatever this thing is, another monster. So pretty cool. On the back we've got some different symbols on the back of the cloud cover. Probably not good for the average investigator because it's a Cthulhu game and they never are. So let's look at our second card here. Looks like we've got our new characters here. Quite a few of them actually. There's the orphan. That looks like Monterey Jack. We'll find out here in a minute. Whole bunch of monsters though. Not cool. A lot of wolves. And they're pretty sketchy looking. So this is card A2 of two of SL17 so all the information on the back yep wolf packs ah stupid wolf packs there's a yeti in here alright so let's get that out of the way and it looks like here's our card packs and we got a really terrified guy inside the box anything hiding underneath nope alright so we'll start with these cards. Looks like there's some, quite a few here. Yep, we've got quite a lot of cards here. So let's uh, zoom the camera in and take a good look at these cards. Alright, so our first card on top is this Midnight Effect card. And it, it basically tells you what's going to happen at midnight, different things based on this scenario of cards. And then there's the Investigator Turn Order. I doubt that too much has really changed, but you never know with some of these scenarios. Alright, then we've got 
the expedition camp card it's a wintery scene it probably could have been a little better of a drawing because it looks all distorted over here and on the other side it tells you a little bit about the expedition camp okay and then we have the winter card it says on here at midnight if the investigators have zero supplies each investigator loses one stamina so obviously supplies are going to be very important in this one on the back is the summer card and this one says at midnight if investigators have zero supply each investigator loses one stamina so kind of the same deal All right, then we've got our different types of cards. And we'll split these up and look at them individually. Ooh, there's, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of these cards. Alright, so we'll start with these cards and see what we've got. There are three of these, and the first one is Ithaqua, the Windwalker. Then we have Rilim Sh Shikaroth, Killing Cold. And finally, Ran Togoth. The insatiable hunger. Ooh. Ooh, that's a that's a very short track there. Alright, so there's our monsters. Let's get these out of the way. And take a look at our new investigators. First up we have Silas Marsh, the sailor. Then we have Tony Morgan, the bounty hunter. Always gets his man. When attempting an adventure with a monster, Tony gains the red die for free, even if it's locked. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Ursula Downs, the explorer. Trailblazer, once per day at the start of any investigator's turn. Ursula may look at the top two cards of the adventure deck. She then places one card on the bottom of the deck and the other back on top. Then we have Rex Murphy, the reporter. Lily Chen, the martial artist, one of my favorites in the uh, Fantasy Flight series. Yin and Yang, at any time Lily may spend one sanity to regain one stamina, or spend one sam stamina to regain one sanity. She cannot spend her last stamina or sanity. She's only got 5-5, five, five. I think that should be a little higher, because she's pretty awesome. Charlie Kane, the politician. Agnes Baker, the waitress. And finally, Wendy Adams, the urchin. Blessed child, once per roll during her turn, Wendy may spend one sanity to turn a die, showing a monster result to a result of her choice. She only has three health, though, that, so that's a pretty risky gamble. But that's our new investigator cards. All right, next up, we have the Cold Unknown. Oh, these are numbered. Okay. Uh, these have a number two at the bottom. I don't know what that means because I haven't played these yet. Okay, there's a couple of them with different pictures. So, different adventures, obviously. So we'll try... Spoiler alert, this may contain some serious spoilers for this. So if you're looking to buy this, you may want to skip ahead past the big card phase and get to the smaller cards because there's probably some spoilers here. Um, now the back of these, for the Cold Unknown, I think that's Ithaca. It says, at midnight, add one to the Doom track. Um, so they have a number two at the bottom, which is probably a difficulty, I'm not sure. But these are the red symbols, and there are... Four of these cards. So we have the light within. Uh, 
Then we have Call of the Northern Lights. The Midnight Sun. Ooh, at midnight add two Doom tokens to the Doom track. You'll want to take care of that pretty quick if you've got the, the, got the short ones. Uh, Endless Night, Terror, each investigator loses one Sandy unless you lose one Supply. Okay, that's the three for the Cold Unknown. Next up we have four cards for the Lair of the Beast. Uh, add one Doom token to the Doom track unless you lose two Supplies. So, okay, that's not as horrid. I'm not sure which monster this goes with. I didn't read the cards, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, first card is the Frozen Temple. Entry, gain one Elder Sign and add one Doom token to the Doom track. It's pretty rough. Uh, Snow Graves. Entry, lose two Stamina unless you discard one Monster Trophy. L look at these costs. That's, that's dangerous. Larger of Bones. Terror. Each investigator loses two stamina unless they discard one monster trophy or ally. Ooh. And finally, Spawn of Ithaqua. Alright. These look pretty tough. This is not going to be an easy set. That's for sure. Alright. And the next one also has four. This is Mountain Pass. Looks like this. You add one storm marker to this adventure unless you lose one supply. So first up we have the Forgotten Explorer. Then we have the Pillar of Secrets. Next up we have Avalanche. It's worth zero. Oh, on entry... Each investigator must discard one item or lose one supply. And you don't even get any points for it. That's pretty harsh. And lastly, Force of Nature. Alright, pretty interesting. Looks like a pretty tough one. And then our last adventure here, the Glacial Path. It's got like some guys with pack mules. At midnight, add three storm markers to adventures. Okay, so first up we have Swallowed Below. Next up we have Ancient Obelisk. Then the Storm at midnight, add one Storm Marker to each adventure. And finally, Blackout. Upon entry, add six Storm Markers to adventures unless you lose three supplies. Wow. Okay, so that's that set. Next, we'll look at these yellow symbol ones. And these adventures are kind of the same layout. They're about four cards each. So we'll start with Desecrated Town. And this one is, you may pay three trophies to draw and place an other world card face up under the other adventures. So, first up is Guest of Wind. Then, Unnatural Habitat. Upon entry, you may lose one stamina to gain two supplies. Ooh, then At the Window. That's a, that's a pretty menacing picture. And finally, Summon the Storm. Add three Storm Markers to Adventures. Alright, so. These are the yellow ones with the green symbol. And they're numbered two, so I'm guessing the ones are probably universal. That's these green ones. Or um, specific to, uh, you know, the entry level, then these, and then the red ones. So I'm probably doing these out of order, but that's how they were in the stack, so we're doing them that way. Because I've already kind of done it. So, let's see here. Next up we have Abandoned Mines. And the back of the card looks like this. At midnight, a monster appears. 
That's that's pretty straightforward. So let's see what we got here. Nowhere left to go. Impossible cavern. Cavern of the Bound. And lastly, Cracks in the Ice. A monster appears unless you advance the clock. Wow, that's upon entry. Alright, so that's those. Next up in our yellow deck, we have Highland Taiga. There are four of these. A monster appears here unless you lose one supply. So we have a murder in the night. Native warning. Hunting party. Oh, that's pretty rough. Poisoned land. Terror. Each investigator loses one stamina unless you lose two supplies. Alright, pretty straightforward stack. The next four parter is Coastal Advent Coastal Waters. I can't talk. Alright. Uh, it says on the back there you may flip one face down adventure face up. So my phone's talking to me. Uh, first one is Ford's Terror. Then we have Arctic Fog. Then Frigid Seas. Tear. Add two storm markers to adventures unless you lose two supplies. And finally, Dangerous Passage. Alright, that's those. Let's look at our next set. Oh, these have uh, monster t symbols on them. Instead of yellow, they're kind of mixed in apparently. So there's a monster symbol, and it says Heart of Darkness. And this has a number two. There are some of the number one that were at the bottom of the deck. We'll look at those last. So these must be two of the monster ones. So major spoilers are probably here, so be aware. All right, it says add this adventure face up to the player area after completing Treacherous Ascent. So this is for Heart of Darkness. And then there, then Treacherous Ascent is the next one. So there's Treacherous Ascent on it. At the bottom it says, add this adventure face up to the play area when you travel to stage two. So when you first get to stage two, I guess you're supposed to do these. All right. Next up in the stack is the Inuit Village. And these are the last of the yellow cards. And we're getting into green. Um, nope, nope, I take that back. They're just mixed in. So these are stage ones down here. So the Inuit Village says you may lose two supplies to gain one clue. And we have Last Breath. Hall of Totems, Bone Carver, and finally Northern Tales. Alright, so like I said, these are stage one cards, but they're yellows at the top. So be aware of that. Now we've got a couple of green ones. There are four of these. It's labeled Fairbanks. It's a green circle up here with the number one and it says you may spend one trophy to regain one sanity and one stamina it's got this cool little cityscape look to it too that's pretty awesome all right so we have obsessive greed visiting expert frostbite and finally uh, barnett's trading post All right, pretty cool. Then we are back into yellow for a second here with the wetlands. Again, these are yellow stage ones with 
the text saying, advance the clock unless you lose one supply. Death below, upon entry a monster appears. Frozen in time. Finding the way. And lastly, through the ice. And our last four yellows here are the Northern Road, and these are level stage ones. And it says at midnight, add one storm marker to this adventure or lose one supply. So we've got Hunter of Men, Road to Elsewhere, Whiteout, Entry, add three storm markers to adventure unless you lose three supplies. And finally, Corrupted Trapper. Alright, pretty cool. Now we've got some more greens here. Let's see if there's any yellows mixed in. Nope, these look like they're all greens. So this one is Base Camp. And there's four of these, of course. And it says, you may regain one stamina or sanity. And these are level ones. So let's see what we've got here. We've got Frozen. Winter Song, Cabin Fever, Blood in the Snow, and that's all four. Our next four are Port of Anchorage, and it says you may spend one trophy to gain two supplies. First up, we have Food Shortage. Then Unnatural Blizzard. Entry, either add three storm markers to adventures or advance the clock. Then we have Sabotage. That man has no nose. Warning in Inukituit. Terror, add two storm markers to adventures. All right, that's those four. And our last stack of four is Downtown Anchorage. And it's level one green and says you may spend two trophies to gain one common item. So let's see what we've got here. We've got Public Support, Private Collection, Refuge of Faith, And Eureka Cafe. Alright, that's the last of those adventure cards, but we have two cards left. And these are Into the Wild. And this on the back says, add this adventure face up to the play area after completing Arrival, which is the last card. So there's Into the Wild. And then Arrival is add this adventure face up to the play area during the setup. Alright, so that is all the big cards. So let's take a look at the little cards. Okay, so we've got a lot of little cards here. Not quite as many as the others, but we'll divide them up into their little stacks in the order that they're in, in, in the pile here. Alright, so let's start with these unique items and see what we've got here. We've got Idol of Ithaca, discard before any investigator rolls dice to give him the red die. Alright, that's pretty cool. Then we've got the Birnik Carving. Gain this die even if it's locked. Awesome. Mask of Amakak. After an, any investigator rolls dice, discard this card and lose two stamina to, to change a die to the result of your choice. Stygian Eye. After any investigator rolls dice, discard this card and lose two sanity to change a die to the result of your choice. 
And finally, the Enchanted Arrow. After any investigator rolls dice, discard to defeat one monster, even if it has a scroll requirement, also draw a spell. Alright, that's pretty cool. So that's a total of five new cards. So let's go to the spells next and see what we've got there. First up is Scrying. Then Summon Guardian Spirit. Then Dark Pact. Then Purity Flames. Oh, I'm sorry, Purifying Flames. Then Chant of Thoth. And as you can see down in the corner here, they all have the symbol for the set, which is sort of like this half circle thing. Pretty handy. All right, next up we've got some common items. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a tent. Always helpful. Personal provisions. Discard on any investigator's turn to cause that investigator to regain one stamina and sanity. Hunting rifle. Classic. Dog sled. Discard before any investigator rolls dice to give him the yellow die. And finally, winter gear. Gain the yellow die even if it's locked. So alright, there's some good cards there. Now let's move on to allies and there are five of these cool all right we've got bill morris place one stamina token on bill morris during any investigator's turn to cancel the entry or terror effect of an adventure discard this card when there are four markers on it that's awesome jeremiah kirby after you roll dice, place one sanity token on Jeremiah Kirby to change one die, showing the scroll result to result of your choice. Discard when you get three tokens. Then we have Roland Amundsen and Joseph DeFago. And finally, I'm not even going to... Uh, Ala Karalalak. I don't know. I'm not language guy. Alright, that's all the new allies. Those look pretty awesome. Then we've got the new clock symbol cards. So let's take a quick look at these. There's a whole bunch of these. So we've got a failed expedition. Loot the frozen dead. Lay them to rest. Storm on the horizon. Risk the storm. Skirt the storm. Something in the food, throw it into the stew, throw it out. River of ice, cross the ice, build a raft. Stalked by creatures, quicken the pace or lay a trap. New recruits, wait for them to arrive, press on without them. A stranger in the wild, drive them away, accept their offer. Strange lights in the sky, investigate the lights, avoid the lights. Northern relics, take them for, for your own, or they belong in a museum. Worn and weary, march forever on, stop and rest. Endless darkness, light the fires, liquid comfort. Moral wave, wavers, <laughs> let them leave, oh sorry, morale wavers. Let them leave, more food for all. Treacherous path, traverse the path, find another way. Hunger grows, ration the food, make hard choices. That sounds like they're going to eat people. Well, this game probably could. Ithaca stalks the land, track his movements, let him roam. Abandoned cabin, stop and search, continue on. Hunger, hungry strangers, refuse aid, give them aid. Howls in the night, hunt the beasts, let them roam. Beasts prowl, drive them away, appease their hunger. The cold grows, do not delay, look for warmth. Unnatural terror, bravely forward, succumb to the fear. Curse of ice and snow, 
Break the curse, endure the curse. The clouds darken, ignore the skies, set camp. Exposed to the elements, protect your gear, let it freeze. Eyes in the storm, investigate, flee in terror. Snow piles high, clear the way, march through the drifts. Frigid winds, endure the elements, burn the crates for warmth. Foul weather, make haste or accept delays. Unnatural storm, press on, avoid the darkness. And finally, a storm approaches, face the storm, fortify the camp. Alright, that's all the little cards. There's quite a few here, so that should add quite a bit to the game. Okay, that's the Omens of Ice expansion for Elder Sign from Fantasy Flight Games 2015. Looks really good. There's a lot going on here. This could be a lot of cool adventures. I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it looks really, really fun. Card quality is fantastic, as always. Thanks to Fantasy Flight's quality control. I don't know who's in charge of their quality control, but they deserve a hug. So, looks awesome. I'm excited to try it out. But thanks to my buddy Wyatt for letting me open his game expansion. And uh, give it a shot. I'm looking forward to playing this one. Hopefully you are too. So, if you, I hope I warned you in time for the spoilers. If not, sorry. But that's what you can expect to be in here. If you're missing any cards or anything, then you can replace it with knowing what's supposed to be there but that'll do it for me as always thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews and we hope to see you on the next one